Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to episode 61. I cannot talk, but I can, <laughs> but it's destroying my mouth, so I'm sure you The oh. sandpaper in the throat special, episode 61. The best <laughs> civilization let's play in the world, frankly. Let's not be about the bush here, it quite clearly is. And, uh, well, the British Empire, it's, it's looking, it's looking okay. We seem to be in financial difficulties again, but, you know, that's just... This stuff happens. When you're in a massive war against the entire world, occasionally you're going to run out of money. But it's not as bad as it has been. And on the upside, in 10 turns, we're going to have lasers, which means we're going to have proper tanks and jets, and we can build down giant... Giant? Giant jet robots. Amazing. Makes up of words. And let's face it, giant death robots are probably going to be the way we win this game, because nothing can stand against a giant oh, death robot, because... Surely well, nuclear power, sir. Surely it's, it's a giant death robot f powered by nukes. Oh, I, no, well, that's <laughs> that's not exactly powered by nukes. Powered by nuclear material. Powered by nukes would be if it actually just had some kind of internal combustion engine that was powered by nuclear missiles going off inside it. No, that's what? how it works. I've decided. That's how it works. It's powered by the explosions of nukes. Oh, world leader. <laughs> I get the feeling, I get the feeling here that we are never going to have a world leader. <laughs> I don't know why, I've just got this, what? it's almost we've, like every other no, time. we've got a world leader. Happened. I'm the world leader. Well, obviously, Boy Green should be the world leader, but the, uh, I'm the, the world leader. The world just, they just don't know. They just don't, aren't recognise the majesty, the glory. Not even Washington recognises the majesty and the glory, and he's only got one city left, and it's a pile of shit. I, I, there's just no hope for the rest of them. I'm a bit concerned about China, though. China is becoming quite the cultural superpower, but they're no good at anything else. They might have slightly better tech than us, but let's face it, they haven't got the... Uh, oh, i got a present they haven't got China. <laughs> a nuclear missile present. <laughs> It's, mm -hmm. it's going to be special. It's going to be special. Mm -hmm. The little sneaky backdoor attack. We'll never see it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Navigating the ice floes. Oh, it's Ningbo again. And, uh... Astonishing amount of damage there. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. I don't like those mechanised infantry because they seem to be able to completely ignore whatever we do. I think once we've got tanks. Well, I say tanks. Once they've got a giant death robot, they won't be a problem anymore. Because look at them, they're just little APC things. They're not going to be able to go against a giant death robot. Oh, yeah, but the robot's so far away. Yeah, but it'll be like uh, it'll be like that experimental oh. robot in, um, <laughs> in Supreme Commander. It'll take a while to get there, but when it does, it'll ruin everybody. <laughs> That's how it works. No one, clearly. Go away. What's this? What? The lack of faith. I find their lack of faith disturbing. <laughs> say. <laughs> we need to get that more, that other uranium mined as well. Mm. Get it piled up. Nicely piled up on the floor. Mm. <laughs> so that the people can come and bow down and worship. <laughs> What's it got at the moment? It's got a, a crappy little trading <laughs> post made of wood. Oh, it's, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's super Even bad to see that. You think it was kryptonite mine? <laughs> Be not talking <laughs> up. I'm not going there. Ooh. They put it in uh. a little car because then they take it around the cities and the people can come out of their houses and lick it. <laughs> Children bathe crystals. in it. <laughs> <laughs> There's kids playing in the uranium, chucking at each other. Uranium fight. There was actually a point, I'm pretty sure there was a point, where when uranium was first discovered, they put it in everything, like toothpaste and stuff. Because it was like the thing to have. It was a rare thing. And so everyone, like, looked about with it, put it in toothpaste and watches. And then, of course, people died. Because, you know, <laughs> it's uranium. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the thing that happened. What? Sounds I'm gonna, amazing. You know what? I'm... I'm I'm 90% I'm sure that that is a thing. I may have seen it on QI. <laughs> but I'm sure when it was first discovered, it was it was like, it was everywhere. 
It was just crazy. They, they just put it in everything. And let's face it, brushing your teeth with like uranium toothpaste. That, that's not, not good. That is not good. Yeah, that was it. Radium, sorry. Yeah, radium. Marie Curie. They used to put it in just everything. <laughs> <laughs> what a bunch of mentals. But imagine uh, that. Imagine a world where you could just go into your, <laughs> into your shop and go, can I have some radium toothpaste, please? If you smiled in the dark, your teeth would glow. And your eyes would glow. And your head would glow. You should have <laughs> nuclear poisoning all for your body. It would be amazing. Maybe that's what we need to do to win the war. <laughs> send, send China some radium. So there you go. There oh, you go. we'll send have some, some radium. radium. <laughs> <laughs> Brush your teeth for that, it's, it does a good job. <laughs> oh, we'll send them something. Bastards. They give me bird flu. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> Is it. What kind of bird, though? What kind of bird? It's got to be a native bird. The swallow. Carried it over by swallow. I, what? Why the? have we. Ah, oh, what the hell? Tanks. Mind you, we've got a battleship on the shore. Even if it isn't named, it's at least a battleship. See, look at that. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. Yeah, they had no chance. I think anti-tank guns might... No, actually, I was going to say anti-tank guns might be a good idea, but bollocks to that, because the only people who've got tanks are the rebels who have come over from France. I'm assuming they're still French rebels, because they usually are. So, building anti-tank guns for them is, like, completely irrelevant. What's the point? <laughs> oh, Coliseum. Gotta have a Coliseum in Colapur. Colapur. Pur. Pur. Rename it to Colapur. <laughs> and then station a missile there and fire it at Gandhi. Uh, look, <clears throat> I think if we go up here... Through <laughs> here... Uh, uh, I... I I think the and, bird flu's got the bomb. It's terminal station. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we go through here, <laughs> it's gonna. It, <laughs> you gotta survive, so you gotta survive to drop the nuke. <laughs> You've got your finger on the button. I don't have the button. I'm. I'm, <laughs> I'm just gonna so I don't have. I don't have access. To <laughs> <laughs> I don't have access to the nuclear button. You've gotta. You've gotta stay with it. Stay with us. <laughs> Like the captain going down with the ship. Except the ship ain't going down, it's just you. <laughs> like the violinist on the Titanic, you gotta stand on the deck and keep playing until the curtain drops. They were idiots, man. They were stupid. What? <laughs> yeah, but it was all part of the plan. The cellist persuaded them, and you can use a cello to float in the water. So it was just like, yeah, yeah, we'll stay in play. Don't worry, it'll be fine. We've got flotation devices. He was the only one who survived. I may have made that up. Uh, <laughs> we've got 34 oil. I feel like we need to use more of it. But on the other hand, we need oh, casualties. What? In nuclear? And... <clears throat> nuclear power. <laughs> but there's more oil than nuclear. Nu nuclear. 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 What? Nuclear. Went a bit American there. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh God. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh. No. No, that, that's a different one. That isn't. That is a di yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, because that's off the coast of Akka's pathetic cluster of hovels. Okay, okay. Panic over. <laughs> Panic over. Yeah, but How it took China it. built these nuclear subs? It Damn took it. It, got it took it. Material. It took it, though. Look, it can take like three attacks. <laughs> so it'd be fine. <clears throat> But that's not the point. The fuck? What the hell? <laughs> Little monks wandering around. Come back when you got a great profit traveling in a World War Two infantry ship. <laughs> Why? We don't know. Londinium has seen some right action. I mean, it's not. It's been involved in no wars itself, but it's. It's seen some. It's seen some shit. Look at. <laughs> look at the area around it. It's been totally trapped. <laughs> Have we built Warwick Castle yet, by the way? I keep, I keep meaning to... Uh, no. <laughs> oh, come on, Warwick. What are you doing? The oil haven of Warwick is disappointing me. Oh. 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 
Oh, sí. Sí. <laughs> Ooh, what? I oh, didn't realize that. missile what cruisers could hell? kill them. Oh no. So maybe, what? maybe the nuclear deliverance package is actually stronger than you thought. Let's just go in, man. Nuclear deliverance package. <laughs> Spies. Spies from Shaka. Oh no. Oh no, I think Shaka's Disgusting. friends is. Is it Shaka friends with the. Chinese. Um, <laughs> Chinese. <laughs> I don't know. I I think he probably is. He's 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 duplicitous. He's probably friends with everyone. Uh, I want to explain what I'm doing. So these guys are going forward, uh, and then loads of XCOM squads will just drop, and it'll be pure. <laughs> So there you go. That's that's the strategy. Oh, I don't think those are going to take Yulani or whatever that was called. Yulane. Yeah, they will. It's got it's got a load of defense. Oh. 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 Uh, okay. Right. <laughs> we keep forgetting that we're not at war with Gandhi. It's such a default state of being that you just kind of <laughs> you just forget. It's like why can we not? Oh yeah. For the first time ever, we're not attempting to destroy Gandhi. That's because, for once, Gandhi isn't the biggest threat. It's China. It's only because of their pathetic potential to get the worst victory known to man. <gasps> All right. Oh. Interesting. Wheels within wheels. Can we turn Gandhi against China? And then when he's weakened from the war, nuke Delhi. Has he got Stonehenge? The hell? That's unacceptable. Why is it so big as well? Jesus! <laughs> it's bigger than the buildings! What the... <laughs> I'll tell you what, them Indian lads, they must be strong. They must be strong. I mean, Stonehenge usually is a bit smaller than that. <laughs> oh. Oh, you failed us. You failed us, tanks. You failed the great city of Londinium. Luckily that battleship can sort it out. That battleship needs a name. I mean, it's the Homeland Defence Force. It needs some sort of designation. Ah, uh, I know. We we can call it the chap from Homeland. He's English actor. Uh, Damien. That's a Damien bit something. Long-winded. <laughs> the chap from Homeland. Hang on, I'm going to consult the archives because then we'll then we'll know what to call him. Uh, right, let's let's have a look. Let's have a look. Damien Lewis, there we go. You can be the HMS Damien Lewis. <laughs> the Homeland Security Force. I'm, I'm liking you thinking there, sir. I'm liking you thinking. And, uh, sort of liking the push on Russia. Although I don't like the fact those tanks are, like, slithered. <laughs> Why is there mm. two of them? It's fine. Come on, briefcase men. Get a move on. I've got things to do here. I've got worlds to conquer. Oh, I mean, you can't just... It, it just looks so ridiculous. <laughs> that plane thing flies across and lands next to a bunch of guys with shovels. What? what? Indiana Jones is making a push into our territory there. I don't, I don't, well, don't subscribe uh. to that. <laughs> Those deer are like hard asses. Look at them. They don't care. Guys have just come down from the sky. And they're like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> ah. Russian wildlife hardcore. We've <laughs> got any more XCOM squad? <clears throat> Surely. Probably we're just no, building that... nothing but XCOM. Ningbo's building a zoo still. Excellent. Gotta have a zoo in Ningbo. <laughs> Huh? Wah. Where do you get that? What? Boston? Where's Boston? Fuck you, George. I Where's your book? Is that blue God. there? <laughs> Almaty. Almaty. Where? Uh, where the hell is Boston way. then? I bet it's the right shit or wherever it is. It's just going to be tiny and gash, ain't it? It's near Los... Los Angeles. Los Polos. 
Los Polos with us. <laughs> they don't care for it. They don't care for it. <laughs> uh... Where are the. This is unacceptable. Oh, what? What the hell? No, just no. Just drop some XCOM squads on it. <laughs> just get rid. Hate crime. Yeah. Hate crime. <laughs> Got a bit of. HMS Victory is going to go in hate crime Boston. It's going to be a right hate crime. Not, that's massive overkill. It's only got 30 defense. Surely, don't need nuclear missiles to wipe a city off the map. Surely we can just drop a load of battleships onto it. Onto it? No. Drop five battleships out of orbit. They've got three extra uranium. More nuclear mm. death robots. More giant death robots. More! More! Why is Hastings still on research? I oh, mind you, it's got no production as it is. Just a, a, <laughs> it's one of the gas colonies. It can stay. It can do what it likes. No more lab. No more lab. More giant death robot. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need labs now. We've got giant death robots. How's the nuclear payload coming along? Because <laughs> that's going to be... Yeah. Oh, it could be risky. Going man mode. Oh, hello. Get out of it. How did he manage that? <laughs> yeah, XCOM squads look solid. Look at it. Bloody plasma guns all over the place. Oh, okay. We can, we can take Rostov in about a second because it's terrible. We can probably wipe out Russia, but we've got to get past that stupid little bit of Chinese territory to get to the rest of Russia. They managed to sandwich like a city in the middle of China's empire, which is a bit of a pain in the arse, really, because Russia's just irritating and it needs to go. But then it's. <laughs> I mean, look at that. What is it? <laughs> it's terrible, but it's cut off by the Siberian. Expansion of is that Siberia? I don't know. I, I have no <laughs> geographic okay. knowledge. You're gonna run the gauntlet. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh. Look at him go. Look at him go. That's gonna be a treat. It's gonna be a treat. <laughs> so we we basically we can kill Washington like straight away with one unit basically, apart from Boston. We like keeping him around disgusting. though, he's good entertainment. <coughs> yeah, but he's irritating, his wig gets on my nerves, we should just kill him. Catherine of Russia needs to die, largely because she's got a terrible attitude. I mean, she's been on the receiving end of a massive amount of pain and punishment from like minute one, and she still refuses to give up. Which, I mean, okay, she's got tenacity. You know, she, she's, not, she's not just laying over and dying, but on the other hand, she should just lay over and die, because what, what, what has she got to offer the world? Absolutely nothing. She's just going to collapse instantly. I don't think Shaka is in any... Like, I don't think he's a he's a problem. I don't think he's going to win. Even if he tried to do the world leader victory, it's not going to happen because he hasn't got enough delegates and everyone just votes for themselves most of the time because everyone thinks they should be world leader despite the fact that quite clearly Britain should be leading the world as it does now. Uh... So it's just China. It's just China that's a pain in the arse. And China's quite big and quite technologically advanced. And what the hell if Boston's been wiped out, look at it. Oh Boston. Boston. <laughs> Boston! <laughs> you took two attacks. That should have what surely. I demand something. Bit. Oh love it. I'm loving I'm absolutely loving this. <laughs> the X the <laughs> The ex squad out of nowhere. Swoops in to take Boston. Oh, it's so close. <clears throat> we're, in deeper, we're in deeper waters. It's getting... <laughs> it's getting... Uh, it's getting tense. Uh -huh. It's getting tense. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 well, by a nuclear <laughs> bomb. <laughs> Nuclear Call a poor. We're a new candy. 
Oh no, Kim oh. just went to me. Oh. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yes. Oh, God. look at, oh, look God. at it, look at it. It's glorious. glorious. Oh, still it is. We'll resume. <laughs> oh, we'll kill, we'll kill Rostov. Um. Oh, boy. Rostov is gonna be pretty much shafted, I think, isn't it? Oh, I'll see. Rostov. <laughs> got difficult. Oh dear, that tank might be uh, a little bit of pain there. Yeah, tanks are crap though compared to laser beam men. Come on. Laser beam men. <laughs> Costly attack. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares, bloke? Who cares if it's costly? But <laughs> the constant hate crime against that mobile infantry that just doesn't care. This Continue missile destroyer missile is solid. It wiped out nuclear so <laughs> Just didn't <laughs> care. Just was like, what? And then was dead. <laughs> I do like the fact that you can build <laughs> nuclear subs without... Oh, oh, what was that? Chucking rocks at the XCOM squad. GG. GG. GC. TG. <laughs> That button might be the best thing that's ever been said to you. <laughs> uh, no. I think before we take Rostov, I think it might be time for a cup of tea. No. To soothe your sandpapered throat, sir. One more turn. <laughs> <laughs> One more. What? Go on then. Go on then. Let's do it. Let's do it. One more turn. No. If you can survive the bird flu for one more turn. <laughs> I love that. Don't buy a mission, buy a great profit. Great profits are quite clearly superior. After all, they are great, as the name suggests. Is that... No, I'm off the face. <laughs> I thought I saw Moscow for a second there. I was like, what? But no, it's just... Blindness. Blindness and insanity. Come on, Rostov, get off the map. Are we gonna raise it? Tell me we're gonna raise it. Yeah. It's so gash, look at it. <laughs> it's getting slithered. Oh, they tried. <laughs> they tried. <laughs> the minute men. Why Washington? Why won't you just <laughs> Oh, maybe we can do two nuclear attacks. Oh my god. On our both on our hated enemies. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, should we like? Should we, should we go should we go into enemy territory? Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh god. <laughs> There's a missile cruise around a nuclear sub. No, that's a battleship. Oh god. Okay. Um. Uh. Um. Oh, we need to drop that nuke. No. I don't think it can take both of them. We've got. I don't think it can take both. We've got. <laughs> can it? Can it take both? I think it I can. Need to think about this. <coughs> I need some tea. Will it? Will it hit Shanghai from there? No. We gotta get tea before we make a decision. No. 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 Oh. No. I've got. God damn it. No. What? We need. We need to have. We need. <laughs> what the f what? We need a cup of tea. This is this is. We need we need to review our options. We need tea. I um, can't even understand. We'll catch what you next time, then, people. <laughs> Do it.